So the Samsung DeX app for Mac and Windows is finally available for download and I thought I'd test it out myself with my Note 10 and see what the DeX experience is like on my MacBook Pro. So we're going to do a demo of that today. But before we continue here, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, as the algorithm likes that and will help push my content to more people. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into this demo here. So as you can see, I'm on my Mac desktop right here and I have the Dex app in my dock. It was super easy to install. You just install like any other DMG or package file. You restart and then you're ready to go. So all you have to do is connect a USB Type-C cable to your Mac. I take the other USB end and plug it into my Galaxy Note 10 here and my computer will automatically start connecting or detecting my phone. So I'll unlock here and um, you'll see a little message in a minute. Connected to Galaxy Note 10 Plus via USB. And it's pretty quick to connect here and pretty soon we'll have the desktop dex experience which is pretty cool you can use it in a windowed mode here as well as you know interact with you know your mac at the same time but let's go into full screen just to get the better picture um right off the bat i gotta tell you it is a little bit lower in resolution it's not as sharp as like your phone's ui and that's understandable i, th I think they might be capping the amount of bandwidth or something or limiting it maybe this is an earlier stage so we'll see how you know scale and resolution will play out in later versions but yeah this is the full dax experience just like you would get if you plugged into a tv or a monitor or whatever um so we have the dax button here kind of like the windows start menu we have the uh launch pad esque um app drawer here so we can you know scroll through apps there we also got a message about android file transfer or whatever we have the home and the back buttons as well as the um, app switcher buttons you can see apps that you already have open here is the toggle menu here so we have you know wi-fi sound etc we also have the notification bar or notification panel so you can scroll through your notifications just like you would on your phone um and then we have you know a little taskbar looking thing here where you have like apps that you recently opened and then we have, you know, little icons here on your desktop, which you can, you know, drag around, whatever. So let's actually demo the My Files app first. Um, I think it's pretty cool because you can look at your images. So I can go to my camera roll here and I can just click on an image that I actually recently just took. Um, and it scales pretty nicely. We can move the window around here. Um, it's also nice to have multiple windows because you can't really do this on your phone. So let's open up the settings app here. And as you can see, it fills the entire screen. I can also make it go into a windowed mode and it scales kind of like it does on your phone but you know in a more window to desktop sort of way let's go to chrome next i actually like this experience it's a lot like the desktop app you can have multiple tabs open so i can search like the news and you know scroll through this website and switch to another tab so this differentiates itself from the actual mobile app even though it's drawing upon that you know from one ui Next up, let's check out Instagram. And this is an example of an app that does not go into a windowed mode. It, it literally just scales in the center of your screen. You cannot move it and you can interact with it just like you would with the touchscreen, except this time you're using your you know, finger with your trackpad and keyboard. So here we go. We can um, like a picture. I'll go home here so I can like this picture, you know, double click instead of double tap. And yeah, that is about that. We can click back here just like you would on your Android phone and click home to exit the app actually. Let's also check out YouTube. Um, this scales like a tablet desktop app. It's kind of weird and it fills the screen, you know, so it works pretty well. So we can click on, I don't know, this amazing world of gumball video here. The sound comes through the actual speakers on the MacBook, which I think is pretty cool. So we can scroll through the video here. Okay, and if we press the back button, we can exit the video just like we would with a normal touchscreen device. By the way, this show is absolutely amazing and hilarious. I recommend you give it a watch. Let's go to the app switcher here and choose an app that I already have open. How about Gmail? And this is where I think Dex is super useful, especially with a laptop. So say you have a work phone, you want to answer emails, you want to get stuff done on there, and your company doesn't want you conflating any data between your personal and business devices. Well, you can connect this to your Mac or whatever laptop you have, and you can actually respond respond to emails and type stuff up here so I can actually you know say I wanted to send an email to Tim Apple and then I'm just like hey uh, the 11 max best not be $1,300 I the keyboard is pretty responsive although there is a tiny bit of delay just like everything with this experience I mean like but that's to be understood because like all this data is being transferred over a USB type C cable so there is going to be a little bit of a delay but it's not anything too noticeable but yeah you can actually compose emails here which is quite nice and once again if you have all your data on your phone you don't want to you know type out an email with the virtual keyboard having the ability to type something out with your laptop's keyboard is actually pretty useful 
Let's demo a game here. I like Finger Driver, and this will actually scale in a windowed mode, so let's um, close the ad here. And I can actually use my finger with the trackpad just like I would normally with the touchscreen, so I can totally fail here. This, this game is already hard enough with the touchscreen, so then I can, you know, drive. Ugh, let's try it one more time here. Um, I just want to get it to like 100. Uh, you know, f it, it's okay. Um, so you can see what I mean there. Um, you can also play games like Angry Birds. So I can actually move this over here. Although I cannot scale it bigger. We can actually play it with the mouse and the trackpad. So here we go. And there you go. Angry Birds with Samsung Dex. I also want to demo Lightroom. This is pretty cool. So the app is pretty much the same across platforms and it scales to fill the whole screen here. So we can go to um, all photos here and we can look at some of the thumbnails that I've been editing on like my iPad Pro, for example. So it's all synced up with the Adobe Cloud. So I can go here and I can, you know, obviously adjust settings just like you would be able to on any other device running this program. Um, you know, temperature, exposure, all that good stuff. It's the full app. And I find it really impressive that this is all being driven by the Note 10 Plus. Let's look at the gallery app here, just like we did with the files app. I can actually look at some, you know, footage that I took here. So I was walking with my friends yesterday and I wanted to test out the um, ultra steady um, mode with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. So as you can see here, I'm playing back video at the full resolution, it seems like, and at the same frame rate, no lag there. That's pretty impressive. Here is the phone app. You know, you have a dialer, you have recents and contacts you can take advantage of there. Here is the messages app, and it kind of reminds me of the iMessage experience on, you know, Mac OS. So we, so we can pretend to respond here to this champs uh, promotional thing. So, hey, what, oops, what up, B, you know, there you go. So this is interesting, you can open up the camera app while you're in here, we're not gonna do the front-facing one, hell no. Um, we can look at, oh, here we go, trippy, whoa, look at that, oh god, I don't know why you do this, but that is interesting, I guess. We can actually toggle the Google Assistant by holding down the home button here. What's the weather like right now? It's really interesting to see this scaled on the entire screen, but that's pretty dope, I think. And that also goes to show that voice works through the laptop. We can also go into Spotify here, which scales kind of like a tablet app and a desktop app in a way. So we can, you know, look at my recently played, you know, my music. It's a really interesting selection, let me tell you. Um, so we can go to liked songs and the search and then play music here. This is such a great song, by the way. <laughs> Some apps will just not work like Fruit Ninja because it just needs a touchscreen and Dex will tell you that. And here is the last app I want to demo here. This is Samsung Notes. I think this benefits the most from the Dex experience. So I can look at all the bullshit that I've been, you know, scribbling in my Note 10 or on my or with my Note 10. Here is a daily schedule that I wrote with the S Pen. And it's nice to be able to see it scaled up here. Um, we can also annotate a note so um, I can and I can actually add here about nothing and then I can draw a little bit if I want so I can click this and then there we go you know so I'm using the trackpad and my finger to do so so yeah I think that this app definitely benefits so say you actually wrote serious notes this might be a great experience for annotating and reviewing whatever you wrote down so is this experience practical for me Probably not. I mean, I like using my phone as my phone and my laptop as my laptop, but if I once again was a business person, I had my business phone, and if I didn't want to or wasn't allowed to intermingle any data, this would be a great way to interact with my phone more efficiently if I had to, you know, type something up or interact with a program that would benefit from a keyboard and a cursor. Was this experience fun, cool? Hell yeah, it was. I think it's really cool how we can do this over a single USB Type-C cable. It's a very seamless experience, very painless as well. I just plugged in my phone and we were already good to go. No extra steps. And yeah, I think it'd be even cooler if one day we'd have the ability to connect phones to like a shell of a laptop sort of similar to that one phone setup that existed a couple years back where you plug in the phone and it would like assume this form you'll see a picture of it you'll get what I mean but yeah overall my experience was very very nice the app worked just fine you know once again very convenient very quick to connect and set up and I really do like where this is going this is the future you know being able to use your phone as a desktop experience and yeah I think this is the future although this whole setup isn't quite practical for everybody um, it definitely in indicates that one day our phones are going to take the place of desktops and we're just going to have, you know, maybe empty shells or just displays and keyboards that can be used just as like peripherals.
levels, if you know what I mean. And this DEX app, in my mind, kind of gives us a sneak peek into that potential future of technology. And that about wraps things up. I hope this video helped you out. I thought it was fun. Let me know if you want any more DEX content and also expect more Note 10 content coming very soon. I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.